casualties were much worse this time. Yeah, literally a goo monster, for those of you who aren't here for it. Everyone in the uh, opera got turned into a puddle of goo. Uh, we cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Maya? Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He lost Lorraine. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy! Oh, there's Kathy stinging her damn nose in everyone's business again. Jesus, Kathy, leave them alone! Ah, oh, Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight that thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will you? I will, don't worry. Daddy? Come on, sport, you like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Yay, pet the dogs! Puppers need petting. Pet all the puppers. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. This is Shiva. Hey, I think she likes you. Hey, that tickles. How many times do I got to tell you we've blocked this off? You won't even find a cat on this street. I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? N no, I'm Japanese. Uh, Nanda Nihonjin Desuka? Oh, yes. Can you speak Japanese? I'm butchering this. I am so sorry if any of you actually speak Japanese. I am Kunihiko Maida. Er, uh, Japanese, er, uh, uh... Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Ha, 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 ha. Oh! Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Oh, I'm getting... I'm... I'm back from oh, dinner and no. Back is Mike is my best friend now. Back from dinner and back as best friend. That must have been a good dinner. Welcome back, friendo. I'm getting... I'm, I'm hot. Help. Ah! Oh. I guess it's now or never. Do, 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 do. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct.
where? What I miss, more people being sung to death. Um, no, we got a bigger gun. We went to a museum where a dude explained uh, a bunch of exposition to us and then told us to fuck off. And after he told us to fuck off, we went to Central Park where a bunch of people got turned into a goo pile and we fought a couple polar bears. And uh, last time we saw Aya, she was on a horse cart where the horse had been set on fire and she got thrown off the hospital and they're in the process of evacuating Manhattan Oh, you're you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunihiko Maeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. It's Daniel! He found us! Daniel! There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay. But... The rest of the audience, well, they just... They just turned into a big puddle of goo and went down the drain. It was weird. disappeared you mean they weren't ignited they all melted into slime and became one big mass that's something new nothing like that happened in Japan Japan a similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan Although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied, and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. This is all the plot of the, uh, the 95 novel this is a sequel to, by the way. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So, after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. An ultimate being, a very large baby. You know, and about... I, I just want you to remember that comment for in a few hours, Michael. I just want you to just... Just lock that one away. It's gonna be a little while, but just... Put that away in your brain pan, buddy. I, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. Thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside me felt like it was being 
You felt like you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Oh, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I don't understand. I think I may be a monster. Like her! What? What are you saying, Aya? I, I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Aw, oh, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I, I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just... Just stay away from me. Aya. Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, bye. <laughs> Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I, I could never forgive myself if I killed you. Aya, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Brea. I'll be by your side. Always, Aya. Except for now, when I'm very slowly exiting the room. I'm not by your side right now. But any other time. I got you. When I touched Eve... That feeling. Was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. I would love to save my progress. Oh, save hype. Alright, let's see what we can steal from this scientist. Oh, he had just a shitload of bullets. Wow. I mean, just an absurd number of bullets to keep, considering he doesn't appear to have a gun. Maybe he's got a gun, maybe we just don't see it. Can't go back to sleep. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Science bullets! Exactly. Oh, they shoot theorems. That was a long night. Sleep well. I slept on the sidewalk. Because, yeah. You were here all night? I told you to go away. You could have died, you know. Scientists can't believe anything without proof. It's, it's just one of those things. And besides... What? Oh, nothing. Daniel? Daniel? 
No traffic. This is the way it ought to be around here. Daniel. So what are we sitting around for? We got work to do. Daniel. Thanks. All right, we're gonna need some bigger weapons. There's a gun shop over there. Let's stock up. The old dude at the police station won't give us bigger guns because he thinks guns are bad. So we're gonna go get rocket launchers. I believe there's a pharmacy over there. Thanks. Uh, can I go this alley? No. That is not a gameplay alley. That is merely a looking at alley for viewing and admiring. Oh, how did you guys teleport over here? Uh, they weren't kidding when they said they sell guns here in America, were they? Man, there's a weird, like, gun control slant to some of these characters that I did not pick up on 20 years ago. This is it. We'll help ourselves to some ammo. It's locked. Out of the way, eh? Daniel, no. Sorry, but it's the only way. Shit! Let her move! Are you really a cop? We think so, but we don't have scientific proof if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Science jokes. I can't tell if he's like a crack shot because he was able to pop that lock or just has a gun that like just blows massive holes in everything. So if I remember correctly, there's just not shit in here. Uh, oh, a tool. That's actually very useful. Go ahead and pick up your favorite accessories, ladies. I want this fucking thing. It looks big and deadly, and I want it. I want it. Put it in my hands. Range plus one. That's good. Uh, an M11. Club two. That garbage. Blitz. G19. Maybe that's raw. Current vest one. Um, is that an improvement over my current vest? Yes, it is. And then what we can do is we can use it on the vest and take all the stat bonuses. Get rid of the auto potion. Noise! Noise, 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 noise. Smart, 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 smart. Uh, so let's take a look at these guns. So right now we still are rocking the M16. I got an M11. What are the, uh, what are the perks here? Rate of fire 5. Random rate of fire 1.5. I think that's just like a machine gun, basically. And I've got, so let's see. Um, handguns, I've got the M11, and I've got the G19. Way better range. Smaller clip. Wait, I'm not comparing it to my handgun. Never mind, I'm an idiot. So, that, yeah, that's a way better handgun. 32 attack, bigger clip, range takes a hit of 2, but that's negligible. Uh, I can, I'm gonna put that range buff on my, uh, rifle, actually. Boom. I've only got the one vest still. I can store some of this stuff later. Let's go ahead and sort real quick. I'm saying 18 of 23 items right now, but I got a bunch of junk I can discard. Um, is... So the M16 is what I've been using. G19 is pretty comparable, though the range is way better. So, yeah. We'll keep the M16. Spend? No, I do not. 
don't think you get experience for that fight with the Yuffin. Just gotta say, man, this is just too much. You're correct. That one is very expensive. I want this big one, though. Is there another chest right here? We got here. Bullet cap plus two increases bullet capacity by two. Nice. Let's put that uh, also on the M16. More bullets. Scope out that pharmacy, boys. How many bullets do you think we'll find at the pharmacy? This music sounds kind of like, um, it's got a little Streets of Rage 2 twang to it. Good. You're back. What did you miss in the last hour and a half? Mitochondria. 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 Door's broken. Oh, we don't have to shoot this one. Thank God. Daniel. Psychopath. What's up with him? All of a sudden, he's a happy camper. It won't ever understand those scientist types. Yes, yes, I wish I could take all these back to Japan. He's in the Funko Pop aisle. Medicine 2. Mmm, stock up on those drugs that we wasted. Is there anything on the shelves? I can't remember. Your M. Prevent stiffness. Giggity. Nothing there. Okay, well, let me get back there. What we got here? Revive. directly into these shelves while mashing X to see if there's anything on them. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a phone. That'll be useful. Like I was saying earlier, for those of you who are missing some of this or interested in this and want to dive into it, I'm going to try to be better about putting the VODs for Parasite Eve up on the YouTube channel in a timely manner. Breaking them up in some easily digestible sessions. And uh, on the Sundays where I don't work, I might try to do longer afternoon sessions, just so we're not playing this for the next six months. Because there's a lot of games coming out I want to play. Bloodstain's coming out real soon. And three! Whoa! This was the era where they didn't give all their drugs and spells interesting names. It's just medicine three. Fire three. Oh! There's a defense on that side of the counter. Nice. Nice. I would love to save my game. Save hype. Let's see. Oh man, we're full up again. Pop that defense plus one. I 
All right, we're done, boys. What are you saying for stock? Let's move on out of here. Shall we go now? I'd like to conduct some minor tests. Some minor tests. I just, I just want to. I'd just like to cut off like half your skin and see how it reacts. Hey, you're supposed to be up in front with me. Place nearby with a good research facility, I'd like to test something. We're stocked, come on, get in the car. I'm trying to get in the car, Daniel! The car won't let me in. Hey, you're supposed to be up in front with me. I Oh, oh, we can take the shortest route through Manhattan. Oh, I oh, I mashed. Get in the car, Maeda. Oh, we're going. We're doing it. Shit, where are we supposed to go? Museum? Yeah, I think we're supposed to go to the museum. So where to? Is there any place with a research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It, it might be relevant. How about the uh, <laughs> How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? They have really extensive equipment there. No way, man. Anywhere but there. He should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Yes, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Hmm, for a lab and a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. So what do you want to test? Yes, yes, uh, of course. Let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from A.S. clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct, conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Hmm. Yes, yes, this is... Exactly as I. It's just as I thought. Go ahead, take a look. What is it?
your cells are completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria, Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beasts that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power. But Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse this symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. Reverse the cycle? Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? Maeda. Y yes? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but... I want to know... I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. Aya. Uh, please, Maida, I need to know why. Yes, of course. Thanks, Maida. Could you step over here, please? I'll need your arm. Like this? Here. Yes, yes. Ow! Let me just set this up here. I think you'd better see for yourself. Despite the fact that you're not a scientist and will have no idea what you're looking at. What is it? Is something wrong? what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aya's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know. I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' theory of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that Genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Aya's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Guns! Guns! Professor? What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering! Oh no. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab! We're just... We received orders to evacuate this city. Professor, you really should... I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. I'm, I'm sorry, it was my fault. You see, I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I, I'm Kunihiko Maeda, 
and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic microscope. Wh what is this? Where did you get this specimen? You. Where did you get these cells? Those are... I don't know. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Er, uh, um, uh. Oh, shut up. I'll just ask Officer Brea. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? Hair in places you didn't previously grow it? Odors you don't recognize? I... You should feel somewhat hot, no? Speak up, officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness any time recently? Hey! What the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? Lorraine! Lorraine's on here, too! Clamp, you tell me. You! You tell me what that list is for! Tell me, you hear! Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Daniel? Damn! Daniel? I'm sorry. I was there. What is that? Get out of here. Sorry to disturb you. But we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Brea, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Oh, uh, no. Thank you. Uh, bye. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. him one of these days what's that list it was an HLA type list it's a list to see whether organs will be rejected when transplanted why the hell are Ben and Lorraine on that list there's a list of people with matching HLA uh, HLA types so damn I'm gonna get him I'm going back to the station and getting the grenade launcher.